Hello and welcome to Tykes TV. Neil here and I've got Daniel on. So Daniel, great to have you on. It's been a while. You know, uh, other things and that on, on, on going in your life and that. But yeah, hope you've had a yep. good New Year, mate, and a Christmas. And uh, yeah, you too. Thanks for having me on, Neil. Appreciate it as ever. So before we get going about uh, our footballing matters at Barnsley, just there's some uh, sad news about Gianluca Viali passing at just 58 years old after a long battle with cancer. I remember when he put four passes at Oakwell back in glory days. Um, so anybody at, you know watching this, I just want to pass on my condolences to all family and friends, football and friends and family as well uh, about Gianluca. So do you have any recollections about Gianluca, uh, Daniel? Um, unfortunately not, Neil. I can't add too much on this due to, uh, due to, uh, I mean, I think when John Luke played, when I played for Chelsea, played, played against us and scored those famous four goals. Um, um, I, I think I was about one, so that's, uh, All so right, I'm, so... I'll not be able to remember that. I'm sure um, you age. <laughs> <laughs> But uh, my dad still does talk a lot. My dad and uh, his talk talks a lot about like the memories he had of that game and mm. how great he was and how all our attention went pretty much on Zola that game. Uh, mm. We were all about marking Zola, all about and the cup. But we all we kind of ignored Viali that day at our uh, at our peril. Um, mm. um, and uh, you know, it, I think when you look at the tributes that. He's had, especially from the one with uh, Graham Sooners, mm. uh, where I think Sooners, Graham Sooners, were, were basically in tears. Um, it shows you how much of a great bloke he was and how well respected he was in the game. And uh, yeah, it's a sad day. Sad, it's a, yeah, it's a really sad day and a big loss yeah. to football. Big loss to football, and yeah, sad loss. So I call your statement, uh, your. You just said via Daniel. Uh, football can be a bit up and down, and you know, some months are like, "Oh, it's all about football." But again, things like this, it kind of puts it in perspective. So, uh, going back to Barnsley, I don't know how we're going to approach this. Is as, as game at the uh, weekend? Uh, well, it's not weekend. It was Monday, wasn't it? Against Bolton, it was one of them bad days. At office. A lot of talk about the penalty, what it wanted. I thought personally it wore, what it red yeah. card. I thought it were a yellow. And a lot of contentious debate. Some people were saying that even after 10 minutes, it looked like we weren't in it kind of thing. What, what's your take on game as, a, as an old, Daniel? Um, I mean, I, I I share the same view as the supporters who say we weren't in it. We weren't in it from minute one. And I think when you play in, a side that we know is capable of causing us trouble. We're playing at home. We need to be on it. We need to be on it from more than one. Um, and, you know, yeah, we had a, you know, it was a penalty and we can't expect to play as well um, after we've conceded or we've gone down to 10 men. But there the needs to be, there needed to be showing desire and wanted to get on ball and there were none of that going on in midfield i i thought there were you know we were the balls were going up front and and, and I, you know i've i've been very critical of james norwood i'm not going to hide the fact that I'm, that i haven't been but i was looking at that game and, and in the first in the first half we were putting balls up to james norwood he was heading them down which is what he's supposed to do he meant to hold the ball up head ball down mm. trying to uh, put the ball in space and all the midfielders, all the attacking midfielders, were really trying to get forward and try and open and try and lay that ball off to Devante or have a shot for themselves. Yes, you can say levers levers a little bit open at the back, but you've got Luke O'Connell back there and you've got to take risks. You know, you had to, we were one nil. If we got the when it were when we went one nil down, you could argue saying. Well, if we got that goal back, that would have put Bolton on the ropes. It would have knocked their confidence a little bit more. And yeah, it would. It would. It's just like you said, start conversation. Really, really bad day at the office. Mm -hmm. um, I was very critical about it on la uh, on on various Barnsley pages, and some people were upset with me saying, you know, well, we, you know, it's ten. 
you know, we were, we were 10 men, the referee were this, you know, referee did made that decision. Um, and, you know, well, we're we fourth, it's only one defeat. It's, I don't think we, at this stage of the season, knowing full well what the players are capable of, they've shown us what they're capable of, players like Herbie Kane, mm. Anderson, Kitchen, Williams, Collins, They've shown what they're all capable of, and when they're not performing, we uh, when they put on a performance like that, and we got at them, we and fair play to Bolton, by the way. I'm not taking any away from Bolton, mm. um, but when we're getting mauled like that at home, on what as well, if you look at the league, it's turned out to be a very important game for us. It's uh, it's not good. It's not good. But but you know, let's let's hope that you know. Duff, Duff is an intelligent manager. I think he sets the standard quite high. Gets lads together this this week and and discuss what's gone wrong and let's move on from here. Yeah, I mean, do you think do you think sometimes it takes someone like this to happen to like have a, a rethinking, a, like a realization? Say, well, hold on a minute, a bit of wake up call here because we made it. We did it when we went on a bit of a decent run, then we all also lost against like you know Markham and stuff like that. And it was like, oh, we're going through a bit of a blip. But it's always like a reaction from players what I look to see as well. Because when everything's going well, it's oh yeah, it's rosy, it's nice. But when it's not going your way, that's when you want to see a reaction. And I think him we'll get onto window in a minute, like about uh, mm. uh, you know, players coming in in certain areas and that, but again. Like you said, Via, Duff is a very intelligent man and he knows what he wants in his, his standards, as does Patterson and uh, Devane. He's got, got the set-up rate. And I think sometimes when you have a bad day at office, you look at kind of players on pitch, then on how they're going to react in that situation. Because Duff can do all what he wants at sideline, but when, when certain players are not, not doing it, but they don't go purposely out and play bad, but when it's not happening... That's where I look then for leaders and characters on pitch to get round yeah. and right. We need to. Do you know where I'm coming from with that? Yeah, completely. And I think the the one of the big problems with that, and this is where I do lean into people's arguments that with Anderson leading the pitch, Anderson is a leader on the pitch. Hmm. But I think it goes back to having that leader in the middle of that pitch that's dictating play. Telling players to get over there, giving them, giving them a bit of a rollicking when they're giving the ball away, and getting on the backs a little bit. Mm. Um, I know Duffy's very capable. I know Anderson. I know Anderson is, but it, I think it's something that we've we've had missing since since Mowat really. When Mowat went, that just that like figure in the middle of the pitch. I think Luke not... Conn was trying in in a, in a bit. Oh, Luke Conn, I lately, yeah, I agree. I mean, you can't get you, know, you can't get you can't take any way, anything away from Luke Conn. He's been absolutely brilliant all season. It's, you know, um, I don't think I've praised a player more <laughs> this season than I yeah. have Luke yeah. Connell. Yeah. Um, but I think that Luca's a player that is going to dig that is going to dig in and he will lead by example but when he's talking about the kind of leadership uh, uh, the type of leadership i'm talking about is not having as in a player that's a little that knows that knows his position that knows his positioning quite well in the middle of part you know in the attacking in an attacking sense yeah now what we saw in that game what we saw in that bolton game well luca connell charging forward quite a mm. lot mm. now i'm not going to not look at connell for charging forward because he, he, he was trying to create something but my argument is is that luke connell is that anchor man in that defense uh, in that uh in defensive midfield where were your herbie canes in that situation yeah. Yeah. where were your matty wolves and I, 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 matt is on a <laughs> young lad and i don't mean to get too much on his back uh, he's a very, very capable player, and he will be. A, I, I, I do think he will be an extremely good player in the future. But we have seen a lot better from Matty Wolf, hmm. and he wasn't. There was no press from those two players, and that was the disappointing thing um, from that game. Um, but you know, I think he, I think it's like it's a bad day at the office. Um, 
they need to I think we need to honestly look at and this is just a, a small thing going forward. We we've have, have had conversations with this about uh, to various people. Out of our eleven game out of uh, sorry, out of the top eleven that we played this season, we've won two. We've won twice against all the top eleven teams we've played. Mm. I think we've I think and we've had five defeats. That need that can carry on the way we we need to we need to be getting into games when we're playing those teams and laying his marker down from the moment we from the moment it kicks off um i think bolton did that perfectly against us i think they really did they started playing balls over the top when they were i think when we played them at their place they were quite they were quite robust in midfield but I think you had the, the the striker Charles causing his numerous problems, just like running at running at defenders, like you, were, yeah. you know. Even we when uh, Anderson got sent off, you saw he's like there trying to put put his elbow into into Anderson's back, trying mm. to pull in the shirts a little bit, and that's what we need. That's what we need to we need to kind of we need to be getting under team skins, especially yeah. when you're at home, especially when you're at home. Mm. It's uh, it was disappointing. It was disappointing on Saturday. We can't we can't say that it won't. But it, I mean, is it the end of the world? Of course, it's not. We've mm. you know we have got capable players there. I think it's just about the players uh, players recognize uh, recognizing when they're going wrong. And I think, like I said, we've got Michael Duff there, who's a who's a, the the manager to lead them and and work with him to make sure that it doesn't occur again and i hope yeah. it doesn't <laughs> no i mean yeah same here and it's just like you said we've got capable players here and we've got some players that injured as well such as like your little thomas has all been well not far off phillips and edwards and on about while we're on players is the new arrival came into what well max from Cardiff city a striker six foot two so again for me please a bit of business is that Club's gone out pretty early on, to be fair, in uh, yeah. January transfer window. And looking at his stats, I mean, it's a young lad what's been in long league. He's worked up through non-league, League Two, League One, Championship with Cardiff. Unfortunately, at Cardiff, it's not worked out, but he knows he's back at Nettis, but I've seen bits in him and bits over. And I think at 23, he looks hungry. He, want, he talks good and people say, yeah, he's, we haven't seen him play. It looks good on YouTube. But again, a player that's willing to... Come and play football for me. I'll take all day long. Yeah, and someone being in leagues, he'll know what it. He'll know what it'll take in leagues, wouldn't he? In lower leagues to grind the result out and be in right positions, wouldn't it? Yeah. No, I agree. Um, if when I saw um, about Max, I, my immediate thought was, "This is our signing. This has got a whole Max rules written all over it. Mm. It's a player that's not. It was it a bit of a Bad patch in his career. Um, I would imagine that he wants some time away from Cardiff to try and get some of his confidence back. He seems like a very capable player um, uh, from what we know. But then again, the knowledge that we have on him is still, I'd say, little. Mm. Um, but that's the sort of player we sign again. Um, but, you know, we... We have to understand, you know, we have to appreciate that the budget, the, the budgets. This, I, in all honesty, Neil, I didn't expect any signings this window. If, mm -hmm. if I were going to be quite truthful, I did not yeah. expect any signings this window. Yeah. Um, so to say we've got uh, got a strike, we've got options up front is what we needed. Mm. It looks like he can, it looks like he can bang a goal in the two, um, and. I think one of the things that has most pleased me is that well, there were, it was it was somebody on our chat actually. We we spoke they were speaking about Cardiff. Um, the you know some Cardiff fans and Cardiff fans were saying, oh well, he's not very good at finishing. He's you know he don't his movement off the ball's not very good. Hmm. Well, with all goals I saw him score, he looks like his movement's fantastic. He looks like he's gained just no space behind the. Behind defending, he's got that pace, which I think 
is what we really, really need at the moment. Yeah. Devante's done brilliant. I can't knock him for that. He's had a, you know, he's a top scorer still, I think. Yeah, yeah, I, think he, yeah I think he is, yeah. Yeah, yeah so he's, he's a top scorer. I think, you know, um, I, think I, I think I would say that I've been proved slightly wrong so far about James Norwood, I would say. Um, it, he's not had... It's not being too bad. He's, you know, he's, but um, I think by if if Max can be one of them players that gets behind that back line and really like try a bit like a, a bit like a sort of Jamie Vardy type player, mm. aggressive, mm. aggressive, pacey, um, then I think it gives us something else. It gives us that little bit of something else up front that I don't think Devante and James Norwood has. Mm. I think for me and all, it'd be interesting to see him strike up. A, I mean, I'm, I'm, this is my thought. If if Devante is going to be number one starter and Norwood's going to be either starting and coming off for 60 minutes or coming as an impact sub, I'd like mm. to see Max getting a, a partnership understanding with Devante. Um, I think last season, after 11 appearances, he scored five goals whilst on loan. So, again, not a bad ratio, that. Not a bad ratio. Yeah. Um, and I um, think... He'll, he'll know what he'll know what it is, and like you said, like what you said, via he wants to be an out-and-out striker. It, it, it's confidence. I think if he starts scoring goals, it's going to be a confidence thing, isn't it? Like all strikers. Yeah, and another thing we've got to consider as well. It was it wasn't MK Dons that that decided to terminate that loan. It was Cardiff. Mm. Mm. So you know Cardiff, you know Cardiff are not daft. They know that they know they must see him as a play as as he's got something in him. To, to be a to be a good to be a a, a top a top striker or a, or a or a very good striker let's say but you know is so um yeah I, I, we're just gonna have to see how he gets on um it's gonna be interesting it it's gonna be interesting but I, but I, I from what I've seen I've got got confidence that it's a good it's a good sign and I think I think also, even if you're looking at playing Norwood and Devante still, and like putting Max, uh, putting Max in as like you know a bit of a option to to put up front, um, to put up front in like when you're chasing the when you well not chasing game but when you're uh, when you're looking for that goal, I think he seems like enough for an energetic player to cause defenders some problems when they're on the when the when they're uh, it's getting towards end of game and they're getting a bit tired so. Um, either way, I think it's two good options. I think it's I think it's a good a good addition. Um, whether it be a fantastic addition, we'll it's possible. See. It's possible. Yeah. We'll wait and we'll see. Wait. We'll wait That's the see. excitement of the transfer market, Neil. That's <laughs> it, isn't it? Especially, especially when it comes to January. I mean, it's all unknowns and ifs, books and maybe's. But yeah, hopefully, I mean, welcome to Barnsley. Uh, hopefully. It can improve our team and score goals and, and, and improve his send as well because that's what he's obviously carried for the legend come out for to improve a player. And I think under Duff, I think Duff and Patterson and Devaney will probably get best out of him. Yeah. So going into the weekend, I mean, FA Cup, the Magic at FA Cup, away at Derby County. I've had a look. I think we've sold just under 1,200 tickets. So a decent following going to Derby County FA Cup. Again, is there going to be many changes? What I'd. I don't really know about this, Daniel. Is he going to is he going to tweak it a bit? I think he more or less brings Walton in for Brad Collins, like we normally does in cup games. Mm. Anderson's obviously out, but I think he was all open, open for Edwards going to be back in time. So probably a few changes coming to this game, Daniel. I would expect that. Yeah, um, how is uh, how is Phillips? Um... Is not. It's a bit. It's a miss with Phillips. I don't think he'd be really wanted to. Rush him into this kind of game, yeah. But I think out at two of them, Edwards more likely likely to start so I'll get some game time, yeah. So, I mean, <clears throat> I wouldn't be surprised if we're seeing a little bit of Josh Benson in this game. I mm. we were on the bench last week, wasn't it? Believe I think he yeah. came on 30 minutes, yeah. Um. Has he just recently been injured, or has he just been a bit out of favour? No, he's, 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 he picked up a, a knock, an injury, so yeah, he come back in. Aitchison's so, back as well because he were off for personal issues, so yeah, someone else on the bench. Um, so 
I think maybe you could see H and Feech. Uh, maybe you could see H and Feech. So Benson come in, Edwards. Apart from that, I, I, apart from that, I don't really see them in any. Well, is, is I, well, Max could. Was, could Max be on the bench by that time? Or is, mm. you know, well, he's, reg he's registered, isn't he? So yeah. I would imagine he's, well, he's registered away in England, isn't he? So, mm. uh, or the UK, should I probably say? Sorry, Cardiff fans. <laughs> um, um, but uh, yeah, we could see we could see him. I could see him just coming off the bench, to be honest. I don't think you'd want to throw him into the deep end, but um, mm. unless Duff is super confident in, has got all the confidence in the world in him, which. Um, if he does, it's that'd be great. Um, <laughs> be an, I'm, I'm looking forward to it. starting eleven now. I'm looking. Yeah. If, if he's gone up there, I think bloody hell, we've just signed. Ron we've just signed Ronaldo. <laughs> 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 um, but no, I'm joking. Yeah, so I can see him maybe coming off the bench. But yeah, I, I think pretty much same team. I, I would imagine that as um, as nice Duffy is in 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 put in in public. I reckon when he get him behind closed doors, I think. Mm. Um, I don't think he would have been too happy after uh, after that game uh, yeah. against Bolton. I think, he'd let, I think he'd let you know, wouldn't he? Yeah. I think he'd let you know, and I think he's probably grilled them enough where he thinks that's a suffice enough lesson yeah. uh, to uh, to get a better performance out of him next time. So uh, instead of instead of dropping the old team, which I don't, which if I'm quite honest, as a, as a fan. I won't like to see him, you know, massive no. changes off Bakary. We were down to ten men at the end of the day, and yeah, yeah, yeah mistakes yeah. were made, and it weren't nice. But things you know, happen in football. Sometimes it... you've just got to take it on chin. If I want to, do, if I want to watch it, if I want to watch a team that won all the time, I don't. I've been yeah. going up to <laughs> Manchester City every two minutes, <laughs> every every week. Sorry, but <laughs> it's all trials and tribulations, isn't it? So, yeah, I mean. I, I know Duff said like that <clears throat> he puts the strongest team out possible what he thinks and obviously calculated risk in, you know for certain players and that which I, I totally get. Um for me, what can I say? Bolton, I, uh, sorry, from Bolton game going into Derby game. I think I I want to have I think this is gonna be a draw. I think it's gonna be so tight because Probably Derby are going to make a, a few changes as well. Mm. Uh, they're the door. And it's a bit unpredictable when you... Uh, if you play a team in FA Cup, not in your league, I think it's always a bit easier to kind of say which way it's going to go. Either an upset or you're playing from yeah. front premier, you're looking for a, a scalp. But when it's in the league, when it's in the same league as you, you've you played them, you're kind of edging on a um, caution. And, and we're in similar positions, aren't we? Yeah, I you just know, think I think after ninety minutes, me, I think it's going to be, I just think it's going to be one one. I, I don't, I think it's going to be a draw. Yeah, I, I'd say that. I'd say I'd go a draw. Um, I think it all depends on, I, on us, and this is the only thing I can go. I can only speak about us. I don't really know too much about Derby. I know that they've mm. got some good players. I know we've got King King Connors in middle at Park. Mm. Um, which scares me every time that we <laughs> play him, to be honest. Mm. Um, but um, but yeah, it, I think um, our main goal, our main thing going into that game is don't concede it first thirty minutes. Yeah. Do not just sit tight. Let him let him try and get let him try and get at you and try and find op uh, try and find openings. Um, if we can get past 30 minutes and if we can get past 30 minutes, then we can, you know, games opened up a little bit. We'll get, try and get on, uh, try and attack. Uh, we can try and attack them and it'll be a bit more. Uh, I think we've got a chance. Uh, and I think we've got a chance of coming away there uh, yeah. in a winning full time. Um, yeah. I mean, if I think if they score, I think if they score in those first 30 minutes, it's going to be difficult for us because they've got some older heads. In the side, and the and the advantage of being experienced players is that you kind of know the game management side a lot better than what some of our younger lads do. Mm -hmm. um, it's not because I don't think we're capable of beating Derby. I think we are. It's just that that little bit of experience that they they have um, might make it a lot more difficult for us if we do go behind early on, mm -hmm. but. You know, if we've got if we get some fast, if we've got we've got quite some 
uh, fast enough players in our side. I think you know battle is going to be in mid. The battle's going to be in midfield. I'd like to see a lot more pressing in centre at Park. Don't get don't get Connor Orian space to to put ball to, to try and put a through ball in or trying to knock one of it top. Hmm. Because he will hit the player that he's going to that he wants to hit. Yeah. Um, yeah. So just a lot of closing down in when they get ball at centre apart, a lot of closing down and just and just uh, sticking to him, uh, sticking to man, and we will get uh, sticking to. Uh, sorry, Marcus sticking to the men and mm. just make, and then once we've done that and they'll we've gone at, we've done that enough, then chances and get, the chances will uh, will come. Yeah, I think we <clears throat> kind of agree that it's going to be a tough game. Um, if there's going to be many chances in it, probably set pieces as well, capitalise on them. Uh, Daniel, been great as always to have you on. It's been a while. I'll to get you on the, uh, again more regular, mate. Uh, yeah, no problem, let, mate. Let us know your thoughts in the comments below. Uh, let your thoughts about the new arrival at uh, Oatwell, Max. Uh, let us know your thoughts about school prediction. Derby County FA Cup is it going to be a tough game? Many changes. It'd be interesting to get your thoughts. So, Daniel, as always, mate, it's been a pleasure. Thank you uh, for having me on, Neil. Appreciate not, it. Not a problem. Uh, when you go into Derby, a safe journey, safe travel back. Uh, I'll be when we come come back into next uh, next draw FA Cup, but we'll see what happens. One thing left to say: you Reds. You Reds.